Anytime you acquire one of these older Mercedes Benzes, I would say at least 15 years or older, I recommend you remove the battery and inspect the battery tray for rust. This is kind of common because these lead acid batteries do gas off and along with moisture they cause the metal tray to rust and if it's not attended to it'll cause the area under the tray to rust and some models that can lead to water getting into the cabin area of the car. So, and so is the case with Casper here, my W116 300SD. I'm going to remove this battery and I'm going to take a close look and I'm going to fix any rust we find right now. And on this particular bracket, you don't have to take it all the way off. You can loosen up the nuts and slide it like that. Unless the battery is the wrong size, you can usually get the battery out. Now I'm going to remove the ground strap first. And we'll get the positive lead off here. It's also a good time to check for any corrosion on these battery posts. You can see this one is in really good shape. <laughs> Tight fit. Look at that. Okay. Now right away, that doesn't look too bad. Can't believe some of the trays I've seen over the years and how badly they're rusted with even holes in them. There's a little rust down in this corner right here, but it's not bad. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove these four bolts right here and pull the tray out of the engine compartment. We'll take a look underneath. Okay, let's let this out of here. This is always a real surprise. But not so with Casper. Look at that. Wow. This is one of the best I've ever seen on a W116. Let me show you. Wow, just look at that. No rust at all. I mean zero rust underneath this W116 battery tray. That's a rare sight indeed. The battery tray also may be one of the best I've ever seen original trays in a W116. Look at all through here, some of the cadmium plating is still good on these clamps and down in this corner, that lowest corner, there's a little bit of rust right in there. Now I'm going to clean that up and coat that with my Miracle Paint product so it won't return. Remember, if you have a tray like this, don't just try to spray it with regular paint. The, the rust will come back. And this is being filmed, by the way, on August 5th, 2017. And for those of you watching this video in August, all my Miracle Paint product and repair kits, they're all on sale on my website. So be sure and check those out if you find you have any rust at all like this on your older bends. Miracle Paint is the answer. So I'll just spend a few minutes cleaning up this tray and coating this one corner. And then I'm going to come down in here and all I have to do is detail that, clean that up and I can put the battery tray and battery right back in this car. That's pretty amazing if you've been around these old Mercedes. After giving this tray a thorough cleaning, you can see where the rust is isolated right in this corner. That's the lowest corner of the tray. It doesn't look that bad, but I guarantee you, you leave that and in a couple years, there's gonna be some holes there. So I'm gonna take care of this now. This is when you wanna catch this type of surface rust and once again, cleaning this area up and coating it with Miracle Paint really is the best solution for your battery trays. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to detail out the engine compartment and I'll come back in a little bit and show you what this looks like when we get it back into the engine compartment. These small spots here where the paint has worn off, I'm not going to be concerned about those because they're not rusting. But I'm going to sand these lightly and I'm going to come back and spray the whole tray, including over the top, of the Miracle Paint. I'll let that dry 24 hours and we'll just spray this whole battery tray with my engine chassis satin black that I have on my website. That's really the best detail paint I've found in a spray can. I couldn't stand all that oil and grease and staining under the battery tray and up along here in the inside fender well so I went ahead and detailed this out real quick. Yes I did it right here in my shop using my 
kind of special technique I developed and it only took me about 15 minutes. You know, it's not perfect. I'm not trying to create a show car here, but it is nice to have a clean car when you go to work on it. So this whole area has been cleaned up. And while I'm in here, you know, I'm kind of inspecting things. And look at this right here. <laughs> Guess what's missing? A little plastic locking knob for this front right turn signal assembly. Now you leave those off. This thing could fall off going down the freeway. I've actually known that to happen. I've had reports from customers asking, hey, do you have an extra turn signal lens? Mine fell off on the freeway. Well, that's why somebody forgot that knob. So you'll be surprised at what you're gonna find on some of these old cars, even if they've been really well maintained like Casper here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery tray back on. I'll just show you briefly. It only took about a half a gallon of water and I trapped it on a tray under the car to do all the detailing on this side of the engine compartment. I'm gonna pull this tray out now and show you how I captured all the rinse water when I detail that part of the engine. And you can see here, I didn't use that much water. There's a little over a half a gallon here. And if you're interested in knowing my technique, I've also got all my detailing videos on sale during the month of August. This is 2017, so be sure and check those out. I talk about extreme detailing and doing it safely inside your garage. The battery box tray is restored. I'm really proud of how this came out. You know, I went after that rust area with one of my favorite die grinders. And a little special scouring pad attachments you can see here. I started out with a big one to get most of the heavy rust off and then went to a narrow one to get along inside that crack. And then getting into these corners and really getting that rust out with the real small pads worked great. Once that was done, I coated this with Miracle Paint, let it set overnight, and then buffed that and then sanded the Miracle Paint area a little bit and then went ahead and sprayed the entire tray. Now, if you're interested in the type of paint I use to do this type of paint work inside and around the engine compartment, I'll put a link in the video description below. But I'm ready to set this back in here. I'm not gonna bolt it down now because there's a couple more things I want to do here in the engine compartment before I reinstall the battery. But I think that's going to give you a good example of why you need to inspect your battery trays and the area underneath them when you acquire one of these older Mercedes Benzes. Now, just remember, if you're watching this video during the month of August 2017, all my Miracle Paint products and all my detailing, both engine, exterior, and interior detailing, Videos and kits are on sale, so be sure and check them out on my website.